Okay, hello everyone. Sheila and other Bohemians. I'm making this video upon a request from uh, Sheila in uh, Boho Dreams. I'll see if I can find out how to make a link to that on the Facebook page later. I am a noob on this. I have to record it from my phone. But we'll see if we can succeed or not. This is exciting. Sheila is really challenging me with the envelopes and uh, videos. And <laughs> oh dear. Well, okay. She wanted to know how I color my um, tags and envelopes. I hope my English is understandable. I am Norwegian and um, English is not my first language. <clears throat> but I'll talk slowly and I hope that you will catch what I'm saying. If some of you haven't seen my tags yet, I'll just show you some of those that I made. This is one. They're not all decorated yet. As you see, I've used different patterns, but I really love this one. It's my favorite. And another one. I haven't started decorating at all. And this one. And this one has, has no gold in it. I don't know why not. Because I love the sparkling. And this one is finished. <clears throat> this one too. I had a little jewelry here that fell off. I have to find it and put it back on and then it's good to go. Another one that I'm working on. We need some embellishment. And uh, this one finished. Oh, I just love this tiny little picture in there. And this is also one that I'm working on. Okay, so I, to save some time, I have prepared a few tags. Um, I did speed up the drying of the structure paste with my heating gun and I will not recommend doing that because it kind of bubbled a little bit and uh, well it was not really nice so what I usually do is that I put paste on before I go to work in the morning and when I get back in the afternoon they are ready to be uh, dyed and uh, decorated but for this tutorial or demo uh, I had to do it that way also I'm using some templates this is my favorite and I have the same pattern in a smaller size and I'll use this one to, to demonstrate with and I've also used this one you can use any template that you have and like So what I do before I start doing these uh, tags is that I paint a tag with clear gesso. Um, this is mainly because I don't want the ink to be sucked into the paper. Um, this only works when I use structure paste. I've tried this on a tag like this and it just doesn't turn out nice. It's like the ink will uh, react somehow with uh, the structure paste. So if you are going to ink tags 
without structure paste, don't use gesso first. Just ink straight to the card. Okay, I've already painted this with gesso, so I'm just moving this out of sight. And then I have two kinds of structure paste. This is the one that I have used up to now. And I ordered a new book because I really like it. It's rough, it's um, grungy. And then I ordered another one, paper structure paste. And I, I'm surprised, it was so soft. It was wetter than this one. This one is the kind of a little grainy, like it's a little sand in it. And this one is so smooth. I can't believe it. I don't know what it will turn out like when I start dying. That's yet to see. So this is an adventure for me as well. I'll use this now to demonstrate what I do with the structure paste on the tag. And just put this aside. Okay. I start working. This paper out so I can see my tag better. Um, yeah, this way, I guess. Oh, this is so soft. Oh, I love it. Let me just add a thin layer. And put all my stems there. Or do you say stem style? I don't know. We say stencil. <laughs> I guess the correct way is stencil in English. I could say template, of course, that's easier. enough yeah that's fine and then I'll just move this away <clears throat> oh holy moly I finished my latte oh dear okay you see what it turns out like oh, let me see if I can Get it closer. It's not easy to see white on white, is it? I usually coffee dye my tags first. Then it's easy to see what I'm doing. Okay. I'll just move this aside and it can dry the natural way. And I'll demonstrate on the ones that I used my heat gun on. I must say right away that I haven't got the slightest idea what I'm doing when I'm coloring. I'm just playing with colors and uh, usually it turns out good. So I am using mainly these. Why I have these colors is just I don't know, a coincidence. I liked them and ordered them. And uh, and this one, um, Shimmer Spray. It gives a nice golden uh, shimmer in the color. I love that. The others are without gold. They are just inks. I have uh, Diron Dac. Color Wash, Sunset Orange, and I have Delusions, Ink Spray, Tangerine Dream, it's a little reddish, orange, and oh I love this one, it's Delusions, Laid Back Lilac, Ink Spray, and uh, it's, a, it's the same color, I just had to have some more because I use a lot of this. Um, Calypso Teal. 
a great color. And the thing is that these colors, they react with each other and turn into new colors. And uh, sometimes it becomes brown, sometimes blue, sometimes yellow comes through. Um, well, I really never know. And then it's cherry pie, ink spray from Delusions, and uh, color wash, iron deck, wild plum. I also have <clears throat> some uh, tattered angels um, glimmer mists. I did some uh, scrapbooking about 15 years ago. And uh, this is what I have from 15 years ago, really. A lot of bottles, I'm still using them. So sometimes I'm just splashing a little bit of this uh, to my uh, tags to see what happens. So it's, yeah, well, I feel being adventurous. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I've used both pastes on this. Um, these are the ones with uh, the Nellis paste, the little, the rougher one. I know that because I didn't fill the whole tag, so I could see the difference. And these are the ones with the paper paste. So we just start working and see what happens. Oh, I forgot. I have to have my heating gun to uh, dry the colors because this will be messy, really messy. It will be ink everywhere. Okay, and I have to put a towel on my desktop. Just an old towel. Get dirty anytime. This and I will also use this to stop the sprays from going too far and uh, hit my uh, chairs and whatever. I am crafting at my dinner table. So what I, I'm usually doing this in the kitchen, but uh, I can't, I can't uh, record there. So that's why I have to do it like this. Okay. I start with one tag, and uh, mm -hmm -hmm, I usually start with teal or lilac, just because I love those colors. Let's push. Just move around. See the colors are running on the tag. Um, maybe a little bit more like that. And I want some filter. this and maybe some what is this tangerine green oh come on it's not really cooperative is it now you understand why i have uh, colored hands i should have used gloves but i always forget about it always
I like how this one turned out. Let me see it properly. Okay. Um, I will try the paper paste tag. Um, bum, bum, bum. I can start with some glitter. And wild plum. Oh, I love this color. It's so oops. And some teal to get some blue we'll see what it becomes I love this. Mm. You can, can you see it? I'm not sure if the light is. It's really hard to uh, do this on the phone that's behind me on the shelf. Um, you see the colors? Anyway, this is. Oh, the plum and the blue and the pink. I like that. I'm, I'm afraid that the colors don't show up properly on the phone, but we'll see. Um, I guess I'll get to see it when it's finished. This is actually how I play. You see, we use the same uh, colors, really, but they turn out one lilac pink, light blue, and one green, orange, blue. Both with gold in, of course, because that's boho gypsy. I will be playing a little bit on my own after I finish this. Um, when you have finished the tags, yeah, you just embellish them and then you just use... Oh, let me see. Um, you can use pieces of silk, mm. sari trims, um, uh, Sheila in Boho Dreams, she is selling these lovely, lovely silks and trims. I'm not sure if everything here is from Sheila because I had to uh, add um, um, my uh, storage of silk um, I was running out really and uh, so I, I joined some auctions and uh, I still need more 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 so you just put some <coughs> trims on them 
and uh, oh, this one maybe, no? and maybe some uh, cotton scrim in various colors, some uh, cute little paper pieces. Pictures, texts, and some uh, jewelry. I love to use uh, earrings and other jewelry. Like this is a very bohemian earring. And some earrings. Or you can use little things. I don't know what this is called. Flat back beads. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. And uh, you can add whatever you have. Um, or just have them like that. But what you will notice is that they get messy on the back. So you will definitely have to cover them with another tag. Okay? Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you, Sheila. Uh, and anyone else that might be interested. And I hope that this...